Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Birkenstock, owner of Skin Body Health. Uh, we have physicians serving you in New Orleans, Louisiana, and Mandeville, Louisiana. We also uh, carry licenses in Florida and Alabama and uh, serve a lot of people across the nation via confidential Zoom type conferencing. So tonight's topic is one of my dear and favorite topics. It's a, it's a presentation that I've given to the, the Corps of Engineers across New Orleans and to different and various um, public entities. We'll be doing this seven part series starting with tonight on DNA weight loss. It's an amazing program, no amphetamines, no diet pills, and it's had a huge success. We've been in operation with our diet plan since 2016. We've had people lose 180, 150, 35, 65 pounds. The amazing thing about our diet plan is it's dedicated for lifelong success. You eat your own food. You're not taking diet pills. And the people that started in our program in 2016, by and large, are still skinny today. We have lots of before and afters. And as we go through the seven-part series, we will be having some of our successful clients come on and share their story with you. Tonight's main focus, we're going to start with series number one, Leaky Gut. So let me tell you a little bit about the wheel to skinny success. So there are really seven major things or uh, constituents that when combined lead to healthy and permanent weight loss. Number one of those is your leaky gut. We'll get into that in a moment. If you've got a leaky gut, we've got to close down the pores in that gut and tighten it back up so that you're not absorbing uh, bad yeast and bacteria which can cause bloating, moodiness, um, uh, fatigue, and decreased activity beyond which and not slighted by you wouldn't be absorbing your good vitamins and minerals from your foods. You wouldn't be absorbing and keeping the integrity of the good bacteria, bacteria and yeast in your gut. So a leaky gut can lead you down a slippery slope that would absolutely um, be an enemy towards weight loss. So leaky gut, number two would be thyroid, and that will be next week's um, topic. If your thyroid is off balance, that's one of the seven components that can lead to unnecessary weight gain. So we would draw your blood or have your physician draw your blood and we would look at your T4 and your T3 through different uh, blood panel constituents. We would then make sure that you were absolutely at optimal thyroid TSH T4.5 to 1.0 and free T3 or thyroid hormone number three. We would make sure that level is at 3.8 to 4.2. If you're deviated from this, you're going to struggle your metabolism is going to slow down and it can lead to an unnecessary weight gain. We'll talk more about that next week uh, when we talk about our second series, thyroid. Third part will be food allergies. So if something causes a severe degree of anaphylaxis, which means shock, throat closing, hives, blood pressure dropping, and you would then go to the emergency room, you probably at this point or stage in your life already know about those food allergies. But did you know there can be um, less severe food allergies, type 1, 2, or 3, low, moderate, severe, before anaphylaxis, shock type, which is type 4. And those type 1, 2, or 3 level food allergies will cause bloating, inflammation, headaches, weight gain, um, and a lot of other things untoward throughout the body. So you might eat that spinach or that garlic, say that was one of your food allergies, level one, two, or three, that we would test for. And you wouldn't think anything about it. Tastes good, some of your favorites even maybe. But within an hour or four hours or uh, even eight hours or maybe even the next morning, the, the symptoms would come about and you may not even relate that it was the spinach, the garlic, or the, the cauliflower, or the green beans, or the cilantro. So the food allergy panel test 
would tell us your unique food sensitivities. And when we back off of those, cortisol and inflammation go down and it helps you to better stay on your path to losing weight. Because of course, increased inflammation does cause us to gain weight through a whole cascade uh, of events. Uh, part four would be about sugar and high fructose corn syrup and how those two components can really lead to unnecessary weight gain uh, that, we, that we weren't uh, expecting, even with some of our diet food products. So we'll get that in series number four. Series number five will be about hormones male hormones and female hormones and we may break those down to two and actually make it a, a full total series eight because both of those are, are very uh, big topics but regardless whether you're a man with andropause or male menopause or female with perimenopause or true menopause meaning the beginning stages of menopause when your cycles start uh, uh, shifting or true menopause when you're absolutely not having a menstrual cycle anymore the hormones begin to change and you absolutely are set up to gain weight through that decrease of good estrogen, increase of bad estrogen, decrease in testosterone. Again, we'll get more into that later. Item number six would be your vitamin and amino acid levels. That would be something we would test for. But if some of your vitamins, minerals, and amino acids are out of whack, you absolutely can set yourself up for weight gain. Just to touch on those, if your zinc was off, your iodine was off, your pH balance was low, meaning acidic, instead of high, meaning basic, then those are all setups for weight gain. So we have to look through that window of the vitamins, minerals, and amino acids to make sure you're set up to win. Um, then the uh, number seven would be DNA. We would. We'll get to that in series number seven, but we would draw your DNA sample with a simple swab of your cheek with a special Q-tip applicator. We would send that off to the DNA lab and they would send us back a 40-page report all about you. And that 40-page report tells us information about what macronutrients, that just means certain types of foods, that you were actually meant to digest properly. So how is it? Let me back up now and give you some basic information and then we'll tune in the leaky gut because that's the whole part of the seventh series of the cycle. So how is it that if you and your friend ever began a diet plan, they lost weight and you didn't? Y'all both followed it very, very well. You both went out and exercised uh, equally and kept up with each other and counseling each other on. But one person gained weight or didn't move at all in losing weight, and the other person did. Well, the answer's in your genes. Your DNA, your genes, your blueprint for your life history. So what does the DNA do? It determines whether we're taller or shorter. It determines whether we have blue eyes or green eyes. It also determines how we must diet and exercise in order to maintain a healthy weight. It determines tons of other things as well. But in this particular instance, what we're interested in is how your body is built and what macronutrients you need to ingest so that you can lose weight. For example, there are many different body types. My particular body type is 30% fat, 30% protein, and 40% carbs. Without breaking that down and, and making it uh, uh, very complicated, those numbers mean I'm built for a high fat diet. No, that doesn't mean French fry fat or fried chicken fat or um, a ribeye that's all white and very little red. What that does mean is good fats. So nuts and avocados and hard boiled eggs are the mainstays where my body gets fuel and converts it to muscle. So if I went on a very low fat diet, I would actually gain weight because my body, my DNA is made to break down fats in, in, in its best form. Um, I get a moderate amount of proteins and the lowest, very low amount of carbs. So if I went on something like the uh, Weight Watchers, for example, or a, or a carbohydrate-built diet, like a lot of the um, uh, bodybuilders use, I would absolutely gain weight if I added carbs to my diet. My body is specifically looking for the quality and quantity of the foods I eat. So when I do go for my carbohydrates, and I get 40%, some people get up to 65%, depending on their DNA 
body type. But if I, for example, did have a lot of rice, pasta, white potatoes and sugars and or alcohols and or candies, I'm going to gain a tremendous amount of weight. So when I uh, ingest carbohydrates, I have to be very careful and use things like quinoa, barley, uh, oatmeal, oats, and things of this nature that are high, high quality. Some uh, corn and some green peas, but never the white foods um, for me. And I keep it at a very low percentage, 40%, because of my body type, my DNA body type. Yours may be very different. So if my body type and another body type that may be built for very high protein, or there are some that are built for very high carbs, or there's also some combination DNA body types. If we're following the same uh, diet plan and we have different DNA, different genes, we're going to have very different results. As a woman physician, that, and I've struggled with this very issue in my own life, it has been my crusade to share my knowledge, personal experience, and um, uh, research with everyone so that we can understand the multi-step approach to skinny success. If you don't know that it's not just about diet or a high protein bar and a little bit of exercise, you're going to miss the boat and, and get very, very frustrated over time. So that's why I want to share with you all about the DNA uh, weight loss plan and the components, the other parts of the series of your body that in addition to what you should eat, also help you to know what you should do in the sugar, the thyroid, the hormone, the vitamin categories, the food allergy categories, so that you can do the multi-step approach to optimal lifelong weight loss success. Let me take a brief moment to remind everybody, please like and share to be entered into the drawing for a free bottle of Alkaline Greens. That's one of the products that we're going to be talking about today, and uh, Alkaline Greens helps stabilize and improve your your greens and fruits and fibers and with this you can make sure you're getting the proper amount of fruits vegetables and fibers in your diet setting yourself up to win so in case you're eating on the run and, and you don't of course want to go into the fast food restaurants you can make sure that you get your ample doses of fruits fibers and vegetables and of course we all know too that the, the fruits of, and uh, vegetables of today aren't like the fruits and vegetables of many years ago and we have to make sure we're doing organic and so on so that we're not getting a bunch of xenoestrogens, pesticides uh, and other things that sort of diminish the quality of our fruits and vegetables. Alkaline is where it's at. The more alkaline your body is, the more alkaline your urine is, the more weight you're going to tend to lose. Click the link in the description below to go to our product store. If you've missed any of our previous webinars on hormones, weight loss, skin care, and such, they can be found on our YouTube channel, Dr. Birkenstock Skin Body Health. And without further ado, I want to mention the last webinar uh, winner. Uh, it was the winner of our Zinc Prime product, and that was Mr. Eddie Carrick. Uh, it was on um, male hormones, low testosterone, and what you can naturally do to improve your hormone testosterone. So, Eddie Carrick, uh, congratulations. Give us a call and you can either pick it up or we'll mail it out to you. And uh, again, if you missed that hormone uh, webinar on male hormones and natural replacement with foods, vegetables, and exercise to get your testosterone up naturally, you can go back to our YouTube channel, Dr. Birkenstock Skin Body Health, and get that information there. Okay. So now let's return to tonight and we're talking about DNA and weight loss and how knowing what your DNA is built of will tell you not only what macronutrients or what that means in simple terms is your percentage of proteins, carbohydrates and fat that your body is expecting to see to make muscle instead of fat. Uh, also in that 40 page DNA that's all about you, unique to you, customized to you, it will tell you how you should exercise in terms of the way your body's built to burn the most fat with the least time. So you may have a lot of fast twitch muscle fibers 
which would then mean you would do a lot of aerobic. If you may have a lot of um, um, anaerobic muscle fibers, um, and, and therefore you would be doing more strength training and or more um, uh, um, long-term runs, seven mile, eight mile runs, uh, biking, so on and so forth. Um, uh, just depending on the quality and the quantity of the way your muscles are built, built fast twitch. Uh, majority, slow twitch majority, or 50-50 fast twitch, slow twitch combination. Um, so again, the, the, long, uh, the long muscle fibers would be more depth at marathon. And then of course, when they're looking at the fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers, they also build a um, gym program for you, saying based on your muscle type, you would use heavy weight loads, light weight uh, loads, or medium weight loads, and how many reps, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, built for your particular DNA, the way your muscles are built. The third part of the DNA um, story that, it, that it, the 40 pages gives you is about your brain and what mutations you may or may not have. So, for example, if you had a leptolein, uh, excuse me, a, a leptin mutation, then we would offer you products that would fight that because that the leptin gene encourages you to want to hold on more weight. There's a sugar gene, there's a dopamine gene, that's the MTHFR gene, etc. And that all guides us to tell you where you may be deficient in vitamins or minerals and or um, taste buds so that we can uh, help you to eat more of the foods that your body needs to build a stronger, healthier muscle uh, build and less of a fatty build. The interconnected wheel we were talking about should be addressed on each component and that's going to give us our lifetime optimal weight balance. It's a sort of our roadmap to skinny success. So the leaky gut. Leaky gut syndrome is sort of new to the medical literature and it finally has a code that we can send to all the insurance companies, a recognizable code. Before that it was sort of just, ah, maybe that doesn't really exist. We now know that it does. So the leaky gut. If your gut were, is leaky, it's sort of like if your car engine were leaking oil. Eventually it would break down when there's no more oil in the car. Same with your gut. When the gut gets irritated and inflamed, it is as if there's tiny perforations and then the toxins can enter the body. The bad bacteria, bad yeast, xenoestrogens, pesticides, and other toxins, BPH, from plastics in the environment, and those weren't meant to be there. When this occurs, the healthy bacteria and yeast in your gut they have decreased ability to protect and stabilize the gut environment and then we have an abnormal overgrowth of bacteria and yeast. Lots of ladies and men get bloated where the, the beginning of the day their pants, their dresses fit fine. At the end of the day they come in and tell us, I have to unbutton my pants, my dress is uncomfortable. How can I fit in my clothes in the morning? and not fit in them in the evening. It's from bloating, it's from irritation, it's from inflammation in the gut. When you have a leaky gut, vitamins and nutrients are very poorly absorbed and it can lead to bloating, increased cortisol, which can lead to increased free fatty acids, which can lead to increased fat cells and eventually weight gain. Inflammation, miserable. And this can go on for months and months and years and years until this angry bear is put under control. These symptoms can lead to decreased activity, moodiness, which would then lead to further weight gain because you don't feel like exercising. With leaky gut, the inflammation is created by the body's response to different things it's exposed to, like poor diet, preservatives, pesticides, fried foods, fast foods, trans fat, let tell Todd to go to the back. Gluten, gluten, wheat, and low fiber. Go to the back, right? Also in our foods, we have to be careful for sugar and high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is a horrible chemical that actually becomes addictive to the brain. It's in many foods like peanut butters, ketchups, uh, uh, the, the, the cereals, the healthy cereals that we may be feeding our children and, um, and ourselves. And so they're very, very dangerous. 
um, emotional uh, emotional stress, chemical stress can can lead to leaky gut as well. And then in the environment, there's pesticides, there's smog, there's uh, things that are in the environment, and the xenoestrogens that can come off the electrical light poles, uh, as well as in, in, in our foods. So if you go to some of the fast food chains where they're using antibiotics and uh, uh, hormones in their meats and foods that they use to serve you, all of those xenoestrogens, um, all of those xenoestrogens cause inflammation and a leaky gut. Um, so it's highly, highly recommended that we be careful of the type of foods that we eat and and do and we'll tell about, tell you about some of the natural things we can do to improve that leaky gut. So stomach antacids, antibiotics, or another thing that will destroy the gut and make it a leaky gut, which is, absorbs the poisons. Um, alcohol uh, as well. Um, so steroids. So you may be asked to be put on a steroid from a, a physician for a severe uh, condition, maybe a severe sinusitis or, or asthma or some other condition. So when you are exposed to steroids, we need to back up and really improve the probiotics, prebiotics, um, and other natural foods that can tighten back that gut. You want to double up on these when you're on some medications. So repairing and improving the leaky gut begins with initiating live refrigerated medical grade probiotics and prebiotics. Prebiotics are the fertilizer or the food for probiotics. Probiotics go in there and heal the gut. Um, it, it puts lactobacillus plus a lot of other good yeast and bacteria that tighten that gut and allow that gut to get healthy again to cut down on the bloating and inflammation. So, um, I always recommend a cold probiotic and prebiotic because a lot of the uh, prebiotics and probiotics in the stores, if you turn and look at the back panel, it'll say this many million of units of good bacteria and good yeast when manufactured. Well, you're not worried about when, ma ma when manufactured. Every day that that product's on the shelf, it's losing potency. So if you get a cold probiotic, or cold pre-probiotic, which is a combination, then we know that you're getting exactly the millions of units that are located on the back of the bottle. Um, and please always look for the GMP seal of approval, which tells you that your product is made in an FDA a certified facility, so you know what is printed on the label, is the potency, the quality is actually what you're getting. It's also a, a, a important to eat and consume certain foods that can help us um, with that leaky gut. So some of those would be like kefir. That can be find, found near the vitamin uh, water section in your grocery stores. Kefir has live uh, probiotics like we've been discussing right there in the product. So this is a good addition to your filtered water to consume because it's going to help you with your leaky gut. Uh, Excuse me, that was kombucha, excuse me, in the vitamin and water section. Always refrigerated because it's got live product in it. Uh, kefir. Kefir is a fermented type of milk, but it becomes a, almost a non-dairy product of sorts because it becomes fermented. So even if you're lactose intolerant, in most cases, you can uh, do very well with kefir. Uh, it's almost like a buttermilk with live uh, cultures in it of sorts and it comes in uh, no flavored or uh, with some of the fruit flavors that well. It's almost like a uh, it's almost like a liquefied yogurt, but again, it's got the natural fresh live cultures in it which really helps with the leaky gut. Of course, um, uh, apple cider vinegar, 100% apple cider vinegar, a little bit in water each day. You can also use fresh lemon in water every day. All of those things will absolutely help you tighten up that leaky gut. In terms of foods, sauerkraut, kimchi, pickles, natto, which is a sort of a fermented soybean. And if you guys have been listening to my webinars, you know I don't like soy foods and soybean products. However, the natto fermented soybean, much like the dairy, changes the quality of that food from soy to a fermented product, and it's N-A-T-T-O, and it can be found in a lot of sushi restaurants. 
and uh, in, in the roll form and it's very, very good for you. If you've got a severe leaky gut, your physician may recommend, as we do sometimes, depending on the severity, a diflucan, which is a, a, a prescription that will shut down some of that yeast uh, and candida uh, in, in the bloodstream and the gut and get you fast on your way to controlling that leaky gut syndrome. Also make sure you decrease the amount of sodas, colas, caffeine and alcohol while increasing uh, plain water or lemon water. Many plastics have xenoestrogen chemicals in them, so please make sure to use glass or steel containers when you're drinking uh, uh, waters or other beverages. Even when you're storing your foods, try to use glass or py Pyrex containers. So you may see a lot of plastics in the stores that say, do not contain BPA. Well, BPA is the one that was first researched. Those products, I promise you, still contain BPH, BPF, BPS, and those just haven't been researched yet and found to contain the same deadly carcinogens that we already know the BPA handles. So in most cases, it's best to use glass, Pyrex, or stainless steel so you don't run into that issue. Last but not least, if you need that jump start, if you're going to do any diet plan and you're having trouble initiating that weight loss or you've hit a plateau, what you may want to be interested in is our famous product, Jump Start Juice. It's been seen on TV. We've been on TV several times. We've got tons and tons of testimonials. It works. You can lose 3 to 10 pounds in just 3 days. Um, that gives you your jump start to break the thermostat, pop that plateau, and get you well on your way to your weight loss success. So. Uh, Without further ado, I want to introduce one of our weight loss clients, has lost way over 35 pounds, been with us over six years now. Um, Mr. Todd, if you come right over here with me. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so Todd started on our weight loss plan probably back around 2016 or so? Probably before that. Before that. Okay, even before that. Was our weight loss program hard? That was easy. Ah, okay. Okay. And have you been able, with using the program and going through the whole protocol, have you been able to maintain your weight over the years? Absolutely. Almost dead even for the last five years. That's wonderful. We're so glad to know that. And did you, did you have to take any um, diet pills or anything like that that would be harmful to you? No, not at all. You wouldn't let me. <laughs> right, right. Well, thank you so much for coming by. We're so grateful to have people like Todd in our program. It, it, it's it's a, just an acclamation to our program that you can join the program, lose the weight, and it can you can keep it off and have a lifetime success. It's not hard. You don't have to eat out of boxes. You can eat your own foods. We just teach you how. So thanks, Todd. We appreciate you. Is there any questions today? Yes, one of them says, how do I know if I'm going to be carbs or fat oriented with my DNA? Gotcha. So what we would do is the DNA test on you, where we would, uh, again, we would swab the inside of your mouth, and we would send that off to our DNA lab, um, and it, within a couple of weeks, they send back a 40-page report that's completely unique to you, and it will tell us what type of foods you should eat based on your genetics and your DNA. Remember, the answer to your weight loss begins in your genes, your DNA. How much does this usually cost for a DNA test? DNA tests usually run over $1,000, but what we're running on our special through the month of February is $4.99, and that comes with a private consultation with me, whether it's in person in our New Orleans or Mandeville office, or over a private Zoom-like confidential uh, conference online. So we can do it for anybody in the United States. And once you do your DNA, it's a one-time test. So it's going to tell you what to do for the rest of your life in terms of what you should eat, macronutrients, how much protein, how much fat, how much carbohydrate based on your genes, your DNA, what type of exercise, what type of gym format, how many reps, moderate, light, or heavy weights, etc. what type of exercise, walking, jogging, t tennis singles, how long it exactly based on your DNA and then it gives us the seven brain genes that tells us if you have a mutation toward any vitamin or mineral that we need to supplement to block cravings or whether it's just a bad habit 
Bad habits are easy to correct. Mutations we need to block. So we have a weight loss bundle uh, to start off with a leaky gut. So if leaky gut is your issue, if you've got that bloating, diarrhea, constipation, inflammation, or if your doctor has mentioned that you might have a leaky gut, very safe products for you. That would be our alkaline greens, our pre-probiotics, and our probiotic plain. These two will get you way on your way to tightening up the leaky gut success. These three products, alkaline green, pre-pro, and probiotics. Those will be 20% off in our store until the end of February. The, the retail price on these are $195, and through the end of February, those will be marked down to $160. Our store is skinbodyhealth.com. There's a link below that will take you directly to the store. And we certainly thank you, as always, for, our te for your attention. Today was part one of, of DNA, the answers in your genes, your seven steps to skinny success. Next week will be thyroid for part two of our skinny success series. Thank you for watching.